The Philadelphia 76ers just had their biggest win of the year. Let's go! What's up YouTube and welcome back to the Sixers Break Room. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, I don't even know what you're doing. Subscribe right now. Go ahead and do it, man. Like this video. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. All of those are at Sixers Break Room. The Sixers are coming off the biggest win of the season, the biggest win of the year. A game that I said on Twitter was a must win game for the Philadelphia 76ers. Why did I feel like it was a must win game? Well, we haven't been playing our best basketball lately. The Milwaukee Bucks are on a 16 game winning streak. I felt like this is one of those games where it was time to put up or shut up. It was time to show, are you really a contender or are you just gonna beat the teams that you're supposed to beat? And when it comes down to beating teams that might be better than you, you just fold up. And the Sixers did not fold. Not only did they not fold, they came from behind once again. This Philadelphia 76ers team, they just don't quit. They're down six at half. They're down 14 going into the fourth quarter. And somehow, someway, they gut it out. They gut it out, man. And they went on a run in the fourth quarter with Joel Embiid off the floor, which is always our Achilles heel. We're great when Joel Embiid is playing. The minute he goes to the bench, we can't get it done. Last night, that wasn't the case. This year, this team shows that they are resilient. They just don't give up. No Tobias Harris, which Sixers Nation, I know how y'all feel about Toby. You don't need to jump in my comments right now and tell me. But no Tobias Harris, no P.J. Tucker. You had Joel Embiid coming up huge. You had vintage James Harden getting 38. You had the resurgence of Tyrese Maxey, who's continuing to play good basketball. I'm happy to see him back in the starting lineup. And I would be remiss if I didn't talk about the bench. Niang dropping big threes. You had, you had McDaniels. McDaniels coming up huge, hitting those three free throws when he got fouled on the three-point shot. And the tip slam. The tip slam was absolutely huge. Listen, McDaniels gives this team an element that they just didn't have. A long, athletic defender who can also put the ball in the hoop. This team is good, man. This team is is very good. Is this team great? Is this a championship team? I don't know. Only time will tell, but I do know that this team is capable of winning the championship. Now, everybody's going to look at the box score and they're going to see the 38 from Harden. They're going to see the 31 from, from Joel Embiid. They're going to see the 26 from Maxi. but the defense down the stretch was huge. The defense down the stretch was huge. Joel Embiid got switched on to Giannis Antetokounmpo. Am I saying that right? I hope I'm saying that right. Joel Embiid got switched on to Giannis a few times and made some huge stops. He drew the offensive foul. He had the uh, he contested the little hook in the middle of the paint. And I believe it was on the last position when they were up three where Giannis had the ball in the paint. And once again, Joel Embiid came up huge with a stop. Listen, this team is legit, y'all. I've been trying to, I've been, I've been, I've been banging that that drum. For, for, for a few months now that this team was legit. I've been saying it in my videos that I feel like this team can win a championship and then people jump in my comments telling me that I'm bugging. Listen, just because I say we can win a championship, it doesn't mean we're going to, okay? In, in May or June, don't come back here and talk about I told you so because honestly to say they're not gonna win a championship is not that earth shattering. It's not, it's not that big a revelation. But I do believe that this team is going to make the NBA Finals. I really, really do as long as we stay healthy. We need Joel Embiid to stop falling all over the place. We need James Harden his legs to not fail him we need Tyrese Maxey to you know to stay young uh, which I know that sounds funny but like he, he always bounces back from stuff he never really gets hurt but then this year he's dealt with some things we need him to be young and not and have them young legs and not and not have these little these little uh, uh tweaking of this or the tweaking of that and I'm telling you this team can go far this team can go far, man. I, I'm just so excited I'm so happy we got the job done last night and I've told you guys time and time again do I feel like Doc Rivers is a is a incredible coach, best coach in the league? No. Do I feel like his X's and O's are great? No. But it's not X's and O's. It's Jimmy's and Joe's, right? X's and O's are only going to get you so far. At the end of the day, your players got to make plays. That's why do I love the stuff that we run at the end of games or when it's tight? Absolutely not. But do we have the dogs to be able to do the things that he's asking them to do? Absolutely. When James Harden and Joel Embiid are making plays and you got shooters like Maxi and Harris on the perimeter for driving kicks, the Jimmys and Joes got to show up. And last night, our Jimmy, James, and our Joe, Joel Embiid, showed up big time. 
Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you guys believe that this was the biggest win of the season? And are you starting to believe that this team can win a championship? Let me know in the comment section below. If you liked the video, don't forget to like the video. Like I said, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. All of those are going to be at Sixers Break Room. And yo, support the channel. Become a member. That link is in the description below. Just try it out for a month. You might decide that you really dig it and you want to stay a member. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.